interviewing several of our teachers about the effect of STEM on their lives and professions. Carr, how does STEM affect your life? Uh, one way that uh, it affects my life, I have, I have a Kindle, um, and I have two little kids, so at night when I'm laying in bed, or if I have to lay down with them, I have to turn on the light and I can read the Kindle in bed. Um, other things, we don't have uh, cable anymore, so we canceled that, so I have the internet up to my TV. We can watch the TV through the internet, saves us a lot of money. We also don't have a landline phone anymore, we just use our cell phones, and landlines are kind of going uh, away. Uh, and then, like at work, we have the smart boards where we can do interactive lessons. Um, you know, it's a little more involved. We can move things around and get the kids involved. In, so. Mrs. Hoop, how is STEM involved in your daily life? Well, it's really in two aspects of my life because I have been teaching computer technology for, for the past 18 years, and it's very exciting to see the young people come in and learn how to use these valuable tools that will really be essential for the rest of their lives to come. And I'm also involved with the enrichment program, and the students there have been working in different areas to learn about particularly engineering. We work with Grove City College in the best robotics competition, and our students actually built a robot that they called Pete that climbed the pole and did various tasks we are really striving to have students think about problem solving in their daily lives and seeing how important it is for people to be involved in making our world a better place through science, technology, and all of the other disciplines that are connected, such as math, to really making people's lives better and happier. How has science, technology, engineering, and math affected your daily life? Well, we all know that math is very important. It's something that you really need in everyday life, no matter if it's electronic or not. I have made my career over teaching math for the last 12 years and trying to get kids more interested in having fun. Even if they don't like it at all, you try to use good technology or terminology to get them excited about math. Right now we're dealing with fractions and mixed numbers and using fun things like the hook shot to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers to improper fractions. We've also done things with decimals, trying to do things with kids on a trampoline, showing the decimal going on in the box. So with math, we try to make it fun, we make it, try to make it interesting, we try to get everyone involved. It's not really a scary thing. And that how math just translates into science and technology, and it's definitely something that it, it is needed throughout your life. How has STEM affected your daily life? Well, I feel that STEM affects every person's daily life. Every student, every faculty, every staff. I believe all students, including the young ladies gathered here, and all the other students in the classroom, science, technology, and I especially love mathematics. Um, mathematics comes into everything you do in your life. When you can find a way to get away from taxes and paychecks and bills, let me know. And I hope that many of the students get gathered here considering engineering, Accounting, math, um, physics, those are great fields to go into and it overlaps into everything. Perhaps you might even want to become a mechanic, you have to know math. If you want to become a roofer, you have to know math. If you want to become a physical therapist, math comes into play. Mr. McCutcheon, how has STEM affected your life in the burn? Well, that seems to be a quite good question in that. Well, you know, see, Pittsburgh, we've got a lot of technology and science here. Got a lot of different bridges down there in the water and that. And we got, got ourselves some buildings, and they're quite important in the world. KKA happens to be one of the very first TV stations ever created in the United States. We got boats down there on the water, help us get around. We got the incline, which is wicked sweet. And we also have the tea, helps us get all over the place that we need to go in Dubber.